Hello there. Today is Thursday, March 25th, 2021. Welcome to my raptor watching video. I know this isn't a raptor, but here we go. Alright, I know this isn't a raptor, but here we go. Okay, so here's a heron. So he's just dipping himself in the water and splashing in the lake. And as soon as I get closer, he's going to fly off. I can predict it. And I already know what's going to happen. You know, I have this fish here. If you want it, all you have to do is just walk on over and grab it. I'm so close now. I'm so close. I just got to reach the end of this bridge and then I just got to set it down on the shoreline. I know what you're thinking. I know that you're going to say that herons only eat live fish. But a fish is a fish. It doesn't matter if it's moving or not. In fact, a fish really isn't doing anything unless it's in the water. So in many cases, when the water gets bad, like when there's storms and things like that, some of these fish end up on shore. Do these herons just skip those fish? Do they just emit those fish? I don't think so. So if I can just cross this bridge, this bridge right here, maybe I can just set this down for the heron. And I'm just going to set it down. I'm not going to throw it, okay? I just, I just need to strategize. Okay, so I'm slowly but surely walking past the bridge. So the heron is moving and sometimes he'll stop, sometimes he'll move. I just kind of have to follow his movements a little bit. Okay, I'm almost there. Baby steps. I just gotta, I just gotta get through this one little step and then I'm there, okay? Uh, this heron is deep in thought. Yeah, so there is the heron right there. He's making little chirps right there. Maybe not chirps, but... Baby steps. Baby steps. Baby steps. Okay. Baby steps. How much further should I go? Okay, what do you think? About right here? Think here's good? What do you think? Hmm. Yeah, I'm a little worried if I try to get closer, this heron will fly off. There you go, heron. Take it. Take the fish. Just take it. Alright. I'm turning around. Alright. Alright. Phew. All right, so you think that'll work? That's the same tree that the osprey would usually be eating the fish on. They seem to like that tree. That, oh yeah, the osprey is there, yeah, go figure. Yeah, the osprey is there, but he's behind those leaves right there. So he's just kind of looking out. Uh, the only thing is I don't really like this angle. And this osprey doesn't, probably doesn't like this angle either that I'm walking on. So I don't really know like how much closer that I'd want to get to that osprey. Like I don't know. I mean, it's not really worth it to try to get this kind of footage from this, from this angle here. Because as you can see, I can only see the osprey's head. And I can't really tell if that's the male or if that's the female. That's the only thing. And I'm thinking it's the osprey that's here at St. Mary's Lake. I think so. I believe so. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to try not to make too much noise once I try to get closer. That way this osprey doesn't fly off. Get it? Okay. And then there's also, oh, you know what? There's also this bird right here. So there's also this Inhinga. This Inhinga is actually sunbathing right now. 
Oops. Hang on. I'm trying to look at other things while I'm filming this. Oh, crap. Yeah, once you start getting out of the focus. And then I also set a fish somewhere in that area right there. And there's somebody that's walking nearby. That doesn't really help matters much. Just keep on walking. Don't. So here is a great blue heron. And this person is about to walk on this side, and which also means that this heron's going to fly off. I mean, there is a possibility this heron might stay, but based on what I'm looking at, I mean, I think he's getting ready to fly off. I think so. And there goes the Inhinga. All right, Inhinga's gone, which means the heron's probably also going to fly off too. I mean, everything seems good, but... Hey, look, the heron's trying to catch something. That's great. This is what I'm talking about right there. And there he goes, see? Come on towards me. It's okay. Sorry, it's okay, Heron. Wow, he actually flew in closer to me. That's great, huh? Okay, so my fish is still, like, on the other side of that lake. So as soon as I go around, I'm going to go ahead and pick that fish right up. Okay, so now we have another problem. So now this person's going to get closer to the osprey. And now the osprey is going to fly off. So I'm staying focused on the heron for right now. And then we'll see what happens. Yeah, I don't want to get any closer. In fact, in fact, what I need to do is I need to go, oh, and there goes the osprey. The osprey flew off. Let's see where he goes. Could be he, could be she, don't know which one it is. And he flew directly onto the tree branch, which is actually not too far from the fish that I set for, for him. But I don't think he's going to go for it. I, I'd highly doubt it. Oh, hang on, hang on. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, there it is. There it is. It's a... It's one of those rare birds. The ones from South America. I can't remember what it's called, but it's this pink-like bird. Look, look at those pink wings right there. Oh. Oh, look. Oh, he flew right over the roof of this, of this gazebo thing. And... Probably somewhere over there. No, I don't see him. I'm not going to waste time with that. Oh, and here's the heron again. Oh, look at that. Hey there, heron. Hey. Okay, so it looks like the heron's not interested in my fish. Uh, if only I can just get him to just go over to that other side where that fish originally was. Hey, heron, you want to go to the other side? There's a free fish if you want it. It's absolutely free for you to enjoy. You just have to go find it. Or you can just go find a live fish. I mean, it doesn't really matter to me what you want to find. You can find whatever fish you want. That gives you an idea of how close that, uh, that uh, heron is. It's pretty cool, huh? There it is. There's the osprey right here. I know this is one of the male osprey. It has to be. And that's as far as my optical zoom will go. That is it. So there is no brown plumage at all on this osprey. So this is definitely the male from the skate park. Yeah, so I've had some problems with this osprey. Like, this osprey is by far the most timid osprey that I've ever seen. 
But he wasn't so timid when he was at the nest, but he's timid when he's with me now. All right, so now we know which osprey this is. Yeah, because both of the male and female from the skate park both have brown plumage on their chest, but this one doesn't. So this osprey is located next to this dead tree branch, which is near the bridge, which is also right above where I placed the fish at, and this osprey isn't even noticing that fish at all. Like I said, an inverse black hole, that's really all everything else is other than this lake to the osprey. It's a major disappointment, but can't even, couldn't even throw a fish at an osprey, let alone use that fish there. Uh, so disappointing. Okay, so I have a story that I want to share. Okay, so go ahead and listen to this story here. So I made a big mistake in the stock market the other day. I started trading this stock called Skills. Okay, and this was after they had a secondary offering, which as you know, a secondary offering is always bad for any stock. It's always going to cause the price to go down. But it's only going to go down near where the offering price is. So the offering price was set at $24 a share, and it hovered like around $23.50 and $24. So I figured, well, since it's probably going to go up at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and set my order for $24. I bought 300 shares at $24. And what happens? It goes down to $23. And I thought to myself, okay, well, how about I buy at $23? I buy 600 more shares at $23. I did. And then after it passed the $23 mark, it actually started to get lower. Yeah, it started to drop lower. There was a big sell-off. And it went down all the way to $19.95 a share. Man. And now I'm losing a ton of money. 900 shares worth. Which is like almost $20,000 worth of stock. Uh, actually, it is $20,000. <laughs> So I'm losing a lot of money from that stock. And by the way, this Osprey has some head bobbing. So he's looking at something. He's probably not looking at my fish, that's for sure. Huh. Uh, well, I guess that's just the way it goes, you know. Osprey just wants to look at the water. That's all he wants to look at. He doesn't want to look at anything else. I mean, this Osprey would have gotten my fish if he was that hungry. Osprey don't normally scavenge. It's very rare that they scavenge. So they're more like Cooper's hawks. You know how Cooper's hawks, well, they don't eat fish, of course, but they eat other birds. They don't scavenge. I've never heard of them scavenging on anything. But red-tailed hawks will scavenge. Red-shouldered hawks will scavenge. And I'm sure there's probably like a few other birds of prey that scavenge too, but those are like the most well-known ones. Well, anyways, back to what I was saying about the stock market. So, I'm, I have to strategize here. So, I've started to make some extra money from the overtime at Amazon, and I really need the overtime more than ever before now. Like, I can't reject any overtime. Like, I have to check, like, every single day, every hour in the day to make sure the overtime doesn't get filled up. As far as I know, I've got two days off this week. I'm going to enjoy my bird watching and just try not to think about the stock market because losing money is something that no one should have to stress about. I mean, not to say that, you know, you're going to lose all your money so you have a reason to stress, but I know that stock is going to go back up. I know it is. So... Uh... So I'll just wait it out and see what happens. They say that there's a warrant for 13 something a share with the stock. And they kind of made a mistake with the printing company or whatever. But anyways, it's just kind of confusing. But they, but they say it could hit 13 something a share before it goes up. And if it does, I'll be ready for it. 
because I put $3,000 from a bank account into my brokerage account. So I should have 6000 in margin to use. Yeah, so that is the plan. And I'm sticking with that plan. Yeah, so as far as this Osprey goes, I really don't know what else to do. Because he's not going to let me get closer. There's no way. There's no way it's possible. I just got to let this Osprey do his thing, and if he decides to do something, then that's fine. I mean, there's been times where he's hunted in this lake and not even caught anything. He's just looking for an opportunity. So I'm trying to stay a distance away to maybe see if some other bird ends up going for my fish. I mean, if the osprey doesn't get it, maybe some other bird will. So I'm taking my chances. We'll just have to see what happens. Yeah, so I'm just going to keep on filming this osprey. All the way till sunset. I do actually hear an osprey. Or at least I think I hear an osprey. Is that an osprey or a whistle? Hey there, are you an Osprey? Are you an Osprey? I don't know if you're an Osprey. Okay, I saw I saw some bird flying up above me. I don't know if it was an Osprey or not. Okay, so I see two birds. One's there. Well, they're both in Hingas. So maybe I'll just play on my game while I, that Osprey doesn't want to do a single darn thing. Doesn't want to catch no fish or nothing. So I'll do that while um, that Osprey stays there. Maybe that Osprey might land for something. Who knows? He does what he wants to do. He doesn't do what I want him to do.
Okay, so I think the mosquitoes are starting to come out, so let me go ahead and put some uh, bug spray on me. Okay, I need to make sure I do that, because if I don't, then I might have some problems later on. Okay, so give me a second while I grab the bug spray. <laughs> Yeah, gotta grab my bug spray out. Yeah, I can hear the other osprey. I can hear this osprey's mate calling. But maybe it's not his mate. Could be the other osprey, the other female. It's hard for me to put the bug spray on me. I swear I hear that osprey, I swear, I swear she's calling in her nest. But she must be in her nest, like she's, she's probably not on the outskirts of her nest. I don't know, I could be wrong. Yeah, it'd be a shame to go, go and grab that fish while the osprey's there, because if I grab that fish, that osprey's out of there. I mean, that osprey will be out of there before I even grab the fish, uh, actually. <laughs> okay. I mean, that osprey's calling. She's making begging calls. So, that osprey uh, obviously wants to hunt, but just doesn't want to be bothered by me, that's all. It's perfectly fine with me. I'll just stay right here, right in this spot the whole time. You know, because if that osprey flies off, you know, he's going to go somewhere where won't be able to see him. You know, it's hard to believe that he hasn't caught a fish by now. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. I really don't want to do this, but, you know, I know I'm going to scare off the osprey, but... Mm. Uh, you know, maybe he... Today's not really your day, Osprey. I mean, I don't think you're going to catch a fish right now. I don't think so. I doubt it. Footage could be better. Could always be better, but... I mean, there could always be good footage. But this just doesn't always work out. 
I just expect more. You know, I know I, I know I always expect too much. I mean, but I hear that Osprey calling. I really want to help her out too. So this male like doesn't want me to get too close to him. What to do, what to do, what to do. It's always the question, right? What to do. Uh, he's really observing the lake. Uh, I'm literally just putting my head down and putting my hand over my face right now. I just want to help out these osprey. I know that's just not going to happen. And he's just looking around. It's terrible. Okay, so I have some bad news. Unfortunately, the Osprey flew off after my battery went dead. Go figure. This is the first time this has happened. I'm just going to put this back in my bag. This awful looking fish. This sad looking fish. Yeah. But it's okay. I'll be able to feed an uh, osprey a fish eventually. I have a secret way to force them to eat a fish. I'm going to use a drone to do it. Oh, you'll see. Stay right there. I'm just on the sidewalk, okay? It's okay. You don't have to fly off, okay? <laughs> to head to the other nest. I hear her calling. So disappointed. Today, today was a major disappointment. Uh, I only got to see one osprey, and he ended up flying off, like right before the sunset. Like he well, anyways, I don't see the osprey over here, so... Till next time, I will see you later. Take care, everybody.